Hey everyone, welcome to Insightful Gaming. Today, we're breaking down an insanely strong Warlock build. You're familiar with the power of Well of Radiance, and with this build, you'll be chaining Well of Radiance non-stop. Check out the gameplay. Tough challenges let the Grandmaster become easy with this build. We're gonna detail everything, including gear and mods that work best with this strategy. But, before we jump into the build, I wanted to take a moment and thank our sponsor for today's video, our channel members. Thank you for your support, it goes a long way, I appreciate you. If you love the build, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. The star of the show is none other than the exotic chest, Phoenix Protocol. It has an exotic perk, Battle Hearth. When you score final blows or assists in your Well of Radiance, you get super energy back. This is the main reason why this build is so potent. Thanks to this exotic, we will be popping supers left and right, making us completely immortal. I am not joking with you guys, but I did last week's Grandmaster with this, and it felt completely broken. Next up, we're combining Phoenix Protocol with the Skyburner's Oath. There are other great choices like Polaris Lance, Prometheus Lens, Tommy's Matchbook, and Sunshot. But in our build, Skyburner's takes the spotlight. It has a unique Slug Rifle perk. It fires explosive rounds which act differently based on how you shoot. Aim and they're fast, shoot casually, and they have a bigger explosion that burns enemies. With Phoenix Protocol, you'll mow down enemies, getting a constant stream of super energy. Often, your next super is ready just as your current one is ending. Plus, in the current season, scout rifles have the anti-champion capability, making this choice even more potent. Our heavy hitter weapon choice is the Apex Predator, packed with the perks, reconstruction, and bait and switch. It fits perfectly in this setup, always having rounds at the ready. Alright, now let's get into the knee gritty and talk about the rotation. Kick things off by either hurling a fusion grenade or setting down a healing rift, tailored to the situation at hand. Immediately after, hit enemies with a swift melee strike. This combo isn't just about inflicting pain, it also tags enemies with the Scorch effect. And remember, your primary exotic weapon isn't just for show, it's designed to pile on those Scorch stacks too. Once an enemy reaches a full 100 Scorch stacks, there's a dramatic outcome, they ignite, causing a massive solar detonation. While your enemies reel from the successive blows, don't relent. Continue the assault with your solar exotic primary weapon, ensuring a constant flow of eliminations. The essence of this strategy is fluidity. You want to seamlessly transition from one move to another, launch grenades, strike with melee, lay down your rift, and unleash your super when it's primed. This cycle becomes almost rhythmic. The best part. Your super constantly regenerates throughout the battle. So, always be on the offensive and keep deploying your well of radiance. More often than not, as one super is winding down, the next one, it's already charged up. In a nutshell, your core gameplay rhythm is, use the fusion grenade and melee to accumulate scorch stacks, trigger the explosive ignition, and in the interim, maintain pressure with your exotic primary. This creates a dynamic flow where you're perpetually ready to unleash your super, ensuring unrelenting havoc on the battlefield. With the exotics out of the way, let's go over our abilities, aspects, and fragments. First, as mentioned before, we're harnessing the power of the Well of Radiance. When you activate this super, you dramatically plant your sword, damaging and afflicting enemies in proximity with the Scorch effect. The real beauty of the Well of Radiance is its protective aura. Stating within it, you and your teammates are virtually indestructible. It offers intense healing, ensuring even in the face of fierce champions, you stand strong. Our grenade of choice is the Fusion Grenade. Personally, I find this the most effective, it latches onto foes, dealing damage and inflicting a decent Scorch upon explosion. Then there's the Healing Rift, a unique advantage for Warlocks. Position yourself over it and enjoy a surge of healing, ensuring your vitality remains optimal. For movement, we're deploying Burst Glide, but this one is down to personal preference. The Celestial Fire is our solar melee choice, unleashing a trio of spiraling, explosive solar energy that scorches upon contact. It's my top pick, but if you have a penchant for the Incinerator Snap, it's a valid alternative. Now, focusing on aspects, Heat Rises takes the lead, it's paired with Touch of Flame, which supercharges your fusion grenades. With it, these grenades detonate twice, doubling the scorching effect. Zooming into our fragments, they're tailored to complement our exotic choices. First, we integrate the Ember of Ashes, enhancing your ability to stack scorch effects. Then the Ember of Eruption is introduced, amplifying the area of effect damage of solar ignitions. Coupled with the Skyburner's Oath, prepare for a cascade of ignition blasts. The Ember of Searing is next, rewarding you with melee energy and spawning a fire sprite upon defeating Scorched Foes. These sprites are pivotal, replenishing your abilities. Concluding our lineup is the Ember of Singeing. 
With its boost, Scorching Enemies accelerates your class ability recharge, ensuring you and your allies enjoy incessant healing. Alright gamers, let's discuss our armor mods. We'll be enhancing our armor mods to make our exotics even stronger. Let's start with our helmet. We're using Dynamo, which reduces the super cooldown when using your class ability near enemies. Given that our healing rift will be active frequently, this essentially gives us a quicker super. We're also using Heavy Ammo Finder. This is optional, but I prefer having more heavy ammo. Alternatively, you could choose another Dynamo mod. Lastly, we're using Harmonic Siphon, which spawns orbs when you land final blows with your Solar Exotic. For our gloves, we have Fire Power. This spawns an orb of power after final blows with our grenades. Next, we are using Bolstering Detonation. This grants class ability energy when you damage with your grenade. Next, we are using Grenade Kickstart. When your grenade energy is depleted, you'll gain some back, but it will use one armor charge. Don't worry, we'll generate plenty of armor charges. For our chest piece, choose any defensive mods that you prefer. Honor boots, we're using Innervation. Reduces your grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power. Next, we are using Insulation. Reduces your class ability cooldown every time you pick up an orb. With our setup, we'll collect a plethora of orbs. Next, we have Elemental Charge. When collecting a Fire Sprite, there's a growing chance to gain an armor charge. This is our primary method of obtaining armor charges in this build. Finally, for our Warlock Bomb, we're using Bomber Mod. Reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability. Powerful Attraction is next, optional, but it allows you to automatically collect nearby orbs of power when activating your class ability. I'm fond of this mod as it offers great utility. Next, we have the Reaper Mod. After using your class ability, the next weapon final blow will spawn an orb of power. Alright, let's go over the seasonal mods that'll make your build even more OP. In the first row, just snag whatever NI champion mods you need for the week's meta. In the second row, a good one to pick is the Diviner's Discount. In the third row, we will pick the Elemental Orbs Solar. If you're using a Solar subclass, your weapon's final blows can spawn Solar Orbs. Toss these orbs at baddies and they'll explode. In the fourth row, some really strong options are Elemental Fury. Refreshing pickups. Every time you grab a solar orb, it'll grant energy to your weakest ability. So, more orbs, more power. Last row, you can only pick two mods. First is Monochromatic Maestro. Your elemental abilities will boost your weapon damage and vice versa. You get a 10% damage buff for 5 seconds. Second is Rapid Fire Ranger. Land those quick, precise shots on faraway enemies and you'll make them weaker for a bit. In a nutshell, this Solar Warlock build is an unstoppable juggernaut tailored for any Destiny activity you can imagine. Every ability, aspect, fragment, and armor mod we chosen harmonizes beautifully to forge a lethal concoction that obliterates foes in a blaze of glory. If this build has stoked your excitement and proven helpful, be sure to smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to our channel for even more thrilling builds and electrifying gaming content. Thanks for tuning in, and here's to a fantastic week ahead.